That's your latest in news and weather. For JMC 330, I'm Brittany Barlow. Over Turkey, we talk sales. It's finally Black Friday and people are rushing to Westgate for all the sales. To shop till they drop. Steve Fry has been shopping since 8 p.m. and is running off of... Pure adrenaline right now. As you can see, a lot of people have shown up here at the new Tanger outlets at Westgate. But the question is, are all the lines and hassle even worth the bargain? At 9 o'clock in the morning it is. At yeah. midnight, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Stores like Coach, Charlotte Roos, and American Eagle are offering sales of 40, 50, and even 60% off. Although the bargains are the same, are night shoppers enjoying it as much as day shoppers? No, that's for the people who really aren't good shoppers. <laughs> we consider it shoppers who really want to take time and look and share the experience with one another. But catching a few great bargains isn't the only thing that's bringing people out to shop. It's a holiday tradition. We do it every year. Although Fry is burnt out from a long night of shopping, he plans on doing it again. Well, I think it's a unique experience that everybody should at least have one time. 75th Avenue and Thunderbird commuters have been experiencing construction delays for what seems like months now. The building manager and civil engineer for the project, Jeffrey Zinniger, explains why. We're really to increase capacity at the intersection, however, we are also improving safety and usability of the intersection. With the increasing construction, Thunderbird Road has been cut down to one lane. For West Campus staff and students, it has become a heavy burden. ASU Events Coordinator Katie Shin drives this route daily. It adds about 10 or 15 minutes given the time of day it is, um, or depending on the time of day it is. So if I leave at rush hour, it's going to take me a lot longer. So I might try to take an alternate route to get to work. Not only has the project affected people in the community, but also businesses on Thunderbird such as Starbucks. I spoke to many ASU students who tend to go to that Starbucks daily on their commutes. They said that they would rather just avoid that Starbucks altogether until the construction is finished. It should be completed this winter, I would think December, January of this year. After this project is finished, Jeffrey said that we can expect more delays on Thunderbird extending out to the city of Glendale. Plans or dates for the future road construction have not been set, but you can find out more information by going to www peoriaaz.gov slash building Peoria. Reporting for JMC 330, I'm Brittany Barlow. Thanks, Michelle. I'm out here in Surprise, where an amazing group of people have come together to prepare to go to downtown Phoenix today to give hope this Christmas season. It's like this every weekend because we know people like y'all actually come out here to donate stuff to, to us and actually just help us. Because I'm being honest, y'all are the people that actually give us hope. Without y'all, we wouldn't have any hope. Four years ago, as a young and courageous high school student, Presley Swern created Project Messiah because of a dream that she had to care for others. In 2009, um, there was a man under an overpass bridge who was shivering and looked really cold, so we decided that we wanted to help him out, and he's basically how Project Messiah completely started. This is their fourth annual Christmas outreach behind St. Vincent de Paul in downtown Phoenix, and they came prepared for a busy morning. They know that sometimes we are not always going to be able to provide everything that they need, but just knowing that we've provided enough for some people, and especially the children that are down here, it definitely warms my heart and makes me know that that's what God wants me to be doing down here. As you can see behind me, so many people have shown up here today, and Project Messiah is donating clothes, food, warm hats, gloves, anything that will get these people through the winter season. Hot dogs seem to be something that they all really like down here, so we make 250 hot dogs every time that we come out here for them. Maricopa County recently did a study that showed an estimated 2,246 families were living on the streets, youth making up 114 of that number. And I know when it comes to actually being out here on the streets, it's only a temporary thing for me. Some people get adjusted to it as being a lifetime thing because they lose hope, they lose their dream, and they lose their faith. But providing hope and loving the homeless isn't the only thing Project Messiah has been investing their time into. We just got done with a bladder cancer awareness walk on November 10th, uh, 2012, for my grandfather. He had stage 4 bladder cancer and it spread throughout his body. He actually passed away this Monday, December 3rd. So we are, we're doing that in honor of him and we're going to make it an annual event and hope that it grows bigger and bigger every year.